what's up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are doing well i hope you're doing amazing so welcome you back to an interesting recipe and before you even get to the video please guys hmm get to a girl to 3000 subscribers okay you want to turn it to 3000 subscribers and therefore i urge you all to subscribe to like comment you can also share my videos and cheers so right about now I'm going to be making beans, not just beans. I'm going to be making beans in coconut milk, as you can see. All right. So, guys, I have my beans here. As you can see, they are already cooked. Okay. They are already boiled. That is, I have coriander, I have the coconut milk, I have ginger, I have the tomatoes that are already boiled, as you can see. They are already boiled. I have one carrot with me. Then I have the onion. I have three garlic three pieces of garlic so now from here i'm going to be preparing the ingredients first we'll see as i do it okay so let's do this so the ones that are ready i'm going to move from the focus so that i may be able to cut the other ones okay i start with the coriander right so let's cut this one to small pieces okay so guys you are done with this one so i'm just going to pick it put back in the bowl okay i'm going to be putting it back right so the next one we have tomatoes first of all i'm going to be removing the outer cover okay I'm going to be getting rid of the outer cover these ones i'll just cut them in the bowl okay because they're already boiled so there's no need to no, use a chalkboard. They are really soft and they are juicy. So because I need that juice, I'm going to cut them directly in the, into the bowl. to cut them into small pieces okay so that when it comes to frying i would it will take too much time okay so all right i think that's that's okay with me so on to the next guys i have three pieces of garlic with me i have the onion then i have the carrot so We start with the onions, okay? So I'm going to cut it into small pieces. Small pieces. I'm going to make sure it's finely chopped, okay? So this is how I like my onion guys it has to be finely chopped so I'm going to put that in here so I just pick it put it back in the bowl right 
so now the next thing i'm going to be cutting my garlic into small pieces also finely chopped i'm going to fine chop them small pieces So that's done also. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to set it aside also. <coughs> so now the next thing, I have my carrot, as you can see. Okay. You can choose to grate it, you know, from the, the fine grater, the small the small holes or the big ones but for me i prefer this one so i'm just going direct into grating it all right let's do this so guys i think that's enough for me that's enough it's going to serve the purpose guys so now from here <coughs> this is what i have from here we are just going direct into you know frying them so let's do this guys right so in my pan i have the oil as you can see so i'm waiting for it to eat so that i can go ahead now with adding onions put the onions mix with the oil and then we let them to turn golden brown so from here i think that our onions are pretty much good now so just go on and add my garlic so add my garlic mix them give them some time All right, from here I'm going to add my ginger. I'm gonna mix them all together. So from here I go in with my carrots. Mix them well also. Give them some time so i'm gonna add some water okay Into it. and now from here we bring it to a boil let's give it a minimum of about seven minutes about seven minutes okay might need to add a little bit of water okay because i need the sauce to at least you know I want to dry up. Okay. That consistency is quite nice. Now guys, from here I'm going to add my coconut milk. Right. So I'm going to start this to give it, you know, and formic mix look at the sauce guys so thick so I'm just going to give it some time for the coconut to boil 
yes so this is pretty much good as you can see and because i don't want the sauce to dry guys just go in and add my coriander okay so i'm gonna add my coriander Let's bring this to a boil. So I'm gonna mix it. Okay. But as you can see, the sauce is really drying up. So I need to reduce my heat. Yeah, that's nice. So in a maximum of two minutes, it will be ready.